CFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside the Empress Chanel Chante. Hi. Alongside my right hand man, Cash No Motherfucking Sense. Nah, man. <laughs> 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 man to insult me, y'all nigga. Niggas, get to the point. But I love y'all. No sense, no money yet. We get it. <laughs> What's next? Fuck <laughs> <Look>, y'all niggas. <laughs> we well, see them TMV radio, man. Uh, choose what the future brings. Black culture through music, man. We in the sound lab, man, in the garage media studios, man. You already know what the fuck's going on, man. We having a lot of fun, man. This is episode 154. This is the 2022. 20, oh, <laughs> <Is it 155? laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> don't fucking confuse me like that. I don't even know what's going on. This is the 2022 recap, man. And we here. Shout out to the pie dealer. She in the building. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sucker punch, nigga. Punch Ooh. pies. <laughs> Pat with a punch. What's the new flavor? Because <laughs> we know we got it. <laughs> the, the, the new flavor. Nah, the new flavor is my shit. The new flavor. I don't crush two is... of them pocket pocket pies need a little, already, need nigga. A little drum roll pies. drop. I like that. Yes, it's Bro. the vibration. Then you, for me. you fuck the Sorry, it. I was just I looking at that it. shit. I it's the vibration for me. The tongues was like, moving. Well, it was crazy. Okay. It was a lot going All right. on. All right. All right, here the we new go. Flavor is yeah, like a punch. <laughs> <laughs> the newest pie is a Biscoff cheesecake, and we out here sucker punching niggas. Yeah, mm, y'all ever like been sucker punched? <laughs> I've been sucker punched. Down, you've been I've been sucker punched. punched downtown outside the bar room. <laughs> I was with two women, and and by the time I got to hit him, they started whooping his ass. It was great. It was great entertainment. <laughs> it was the last time Barroom was open, but that was the last that time I was sucker punched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last, last time. time. So you've been sucker punched multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last yeah. time. Wow. But you know what? I don't like to think of a sucker punch. It's not a real thing. Like, you can't, like, you only yes, a sucker is. who get punched. Nah. Like, 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 so you was a sucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the times where I okay. was a sucker who got punched. Mm, yeah. I've been sucker punched before. Nigga. Yeah, I've been I mean, sucker punched. You got it. You got it. You've been sucker punched. There's a couple of niggas. <laughs> okay, slap. I never been sucker punch, punched. Like, uh, but chiz retaliate. It doesn't matter the you, size you see, or age uh, or gender <laughs> or gender. <laughs> that nigga will retaliate. She yeah, threatened me. Yeah. Um, and he niggas broke. was playing badminton in gym. Um, and then gym in high somehow, school. Yeah, this was in <laughs> high school, right? Niggas was playing badminton, and then all of a sudden, a, 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 a racket hit her shit. I don't know how it happened. It just flew up my hand, and she was crazy. So the racket hit her. Yeah, it wasn't me. Just like Tori, okay. bullets hit Megan. Right. Not a gun. You know what I'm right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't the gun that hit her. It was the bullets. You know what I mean? That's a good Niggas one. always, you know what I mean? Disregard that gun. And I didn't know her arm was broken until I got back from suspension. And you broke her arm? Yeah. And I might have broke her say, spirit too. Nah, you know I mean? that's a violation. Because she stopped threatening that's me. That's beyond. She like, was telling me about all the Asian cousins that she had that was coming for me and all of that shit. She wasn't lying. But when I saw her with that sling, <laughs> you already knew what time she ain't say a goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking bars! I ain't even mad at fucking it. bars. Oh yeah, sucker punch. That's what we hear. Oh with. yeah, that's it's, right. That's it's the newest about. cheesecake. That's just my it new is favorite fucking shit. delicious. You know them cookies that they give on on, on the dogs. flights, <laughs> with the little cinnamon sugar cookies that just uh, melt in your mouth. Uh, then they got the little is, milk right? chocolate drizzle on top. Uh, and man, why you got the Biscoff shit crumbs like that? Biscoff. and the layers with the butter is just the Biscoff mm. cookie. Sucker uh, punch pie. Yeah. That's it. Newest flavor. Get you some. Yeah, niggas yeah. got lost in that description. Mad crazy. Sure, it's yeah. so yeah. good. Yeah. Shit went mad. It, it is. Heads. Cash <laughs> had it. You know, Cash. Some of y'all had it. Did you have yeah, it? Yeah, it's just my. Have, it's my new favorite joint. It's one of the first to have it. Yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that joint right there. It's home, really good. Yeah, yeah, those that's are for me. you guys. That's me right there. Yes, for the crib. Yes. But guys, here we are. 2022 recap. Oh yeah. 2022. Um. Before I get into how crazy the year was, man, um, the, the first off, I want to say I appreciate y'all for real. Like, let, let, let me start with that, man. I really appreciate y'all a whole lot. Y'all are my best friends in the whole wide world. We're the three best friends mm-hmm. that anyone yeah. can have. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I couldn't imagine doing this shit as naturally and as organically with anybody else. 
Um, and look, man, we have a long road ahead of us. Yeah. And I feel like we literally just getting started. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this ain't, we ain't even scratched the surface yet with what we're capable of, man. Mm-hmm. And and that's together and individually. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So um, I want to start with saying that I'm proud of y'all, man, for real. I'm proud of y'all. Thank you. Wholeheartedly, Thank you, man. Thank you. And Yo, we're proud of you. We're man. proud of you. This None of this it. would be... <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you right but calm down <laughs> yeah. but none of this would be possible like without you, you yeah know? you gotta you, you literally yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely gotta edit because i i'm not i would not, not sit through listening to this thing. nigga after the episode but you started this platform and i think without that you know what i'm saying it's obvious that none of this would be possible but you know from me to you and you I you. love you guys. Me I too. really love do. I love you, Cash. I love do. Too, I'm going to show you more love next year. We'll get to our resolutions, mm-hmm. but I love you guys. And yeah, I, I'm happy that I get girl. to just share this space with y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank y'all for being here, man. Yeah. yeah no doubt, baby. On that door, you ain't got man. shit nice to say? You know what I'm saying? I thought you said enough. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. <laughs> but yo, let's get into these red cups and ratings, man, because I want to talk about it. this year. We had a hell of a year. Yes. Um, this is the first year we started doing the Red Cups and ratings. And I thought we, you know, we started an ill thing, man. Um, So shout out to Sheikh Hanif, man, once again, man. Yes. I, I said it oh, yeah. before, but shout out if to Sheikh Hanif. Don't know, nigga. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so well, let's clap it up for Sheikh Hanif, man. Yeah, that dog. Because yeah. on the first episode of the year, which was virtual, he hit us with the, yo, y'all yep. should start a rating system. Yep. Yeah. We kind of was. I mean, I don't know. We. I. I, I was kind of. Eh, I don't know. If I already niggas knew really how wanna, was gonna go. You know what I mean? If niggas want to hear from us, rating shit and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But at this rate, man, like we get so many submissions and we're paying attention to shit that's going on too. And I think it's a good way for a lot of people to learn about new artists too. Yeah. yeah. And we're learning a lot too. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for y'all, but I know I'm learning a lot. Yeah. I All am. I listen to now is hip-hop from this from the region yeah True. i don't have time True. to listen to new shit yeah i can't yeah. even get into no industry shit. shit. I, I try <laughs> to but i always find myself getting sucked back into this this mm-hmm. this region man yeah. and this first rating that we're talking about is literally just that right so and it happened by accident i stumbled across um you know some people talking about this kid because of the bmas he wasn't nominated his his fans his friends people you know, amongst his peer group was saying why is he not talk being talked about? He has hundreds of thousands of views online, and I asked, has he dropped something? They said yes. I looked on Apple Music, and lo and behold, man, we talking about my man Richard Mary. Mm. Oh yeah. This project is called For the Better. It is an eight track project. It's about nineteen minutes long. What did y'all think? Cohesiveness, right? Mm. That's my mm-hmm. shit. That yeah. was, that was mm-hmm. my biggest takeaway from it. It's like. <laughs> the sound, the, I mean, the, like, yeah, like, like, what the fuck? Go man? ahead, can man. Get, it out? get your shit yeah, off, man. Know, like, without y'all, can y'all be adults? We got something going on off <laughs> camera, you guys. Fuck? So either way, like the, it, like, like I said, like a one record thing. Like it's like a one record sound. It's not a bad thing when nah. I say that shit. It's you not, know what I mean? It's, no, it's not. I feel like I it's, always thought it was. It could nah, go either way. Nah, it's you don't want to be thrown off right. on an album. You don't want to have some shit that's not in tune to everything you've been listening to. But you do want variety. You don't want just like one consistent. I get that. I get that part. So I didn't get no variety. Song. But okay. <laughs> but all right, can we agree on something? The production was amazing. I yes. love the production. All right. So production. I think that was on one of the best things him, right? in there. Production got him. Boom. Right? Absolutely. Here's another thing we'll agree on. The lyrics. Probably not the best. Not really. Not the best. At all. Right? Okay. At but all. I'm, <laughs> says, I'm, says at all. I'm going to let her elaborate all? more. Is I'm going to let her elaborate more on that. I'm going to let her ma- elaborate more on that. I right? Mean, so. I, I can't because I don't know what he was really saying. Mm. I really don't. Did you guys? Nah, he wasn't I, saying I, I caught some shit that he was saying. Like, you know, you, you know what it is, man? Maybe it's because, like, you know, I, I, I've been trying to be more receptive to these young niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been trying to like listen to what they got to offer, right? And yeah. and and a lot of these these sounds is a lot of 
fun talk, right? Like they having fun with the shit. Okay. But not only the fun talk, it's kind of the same story. Yeah. Right? It's you know? like I heard this before. Like, like it was giving Lil Yachty vibes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get I, I, like breakup music. I would say yes. I did. See, I hear. I did hear breakup music, but I would say, bef- uh, other than Lil Yachty, I would say you know uh, Juice World. I would say Lil Uzi Vert. Okay. I would say uh, 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 Playboy Cardi. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? Like that that lane more than the Lil Yachty, um, which I guess kind of falls into the same pot. I don't know. It's, it's that new you, wave, that yeah. new that new era, that young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. that new wave of that rap young. Culture. Uh, you know, designer wearing. Right. Right, uh, it's a right. bop, you know, uh uh you know, dancing TikTok. Right. Um, that little you know, stupid dance. You know, bitches ain't shit. Yeah. But I'm gonna ask you what they'll ask you. Did you vibe to it? I did yes. vibe to it. I did Absolutely. vibe to right. to a few of them. That's what um, I'm saying. The vibe right. is on a the vibe is on a high. Right. Yes. right. On our scale, the vibe is on a five. Yeah. Right, like if, bouncy, if, if like, like if I, vibe I, was one of our ratings, this the would vibe be is a five. Right, the vibe is a five. Feelings yeah. and bouncy, uh-huh. those are like my two favorite songs on there. If I had favorites, overall, again, I'm I'm sorry. It's just the this new wave is I just not it. for me. I'm not I into like too. this this you can part adjust of the culture. Though, you know, you I'm trying. Adjust. I'm trying though. You know, I tried to like really get with it. I just really couldn't connect. Like I, I'm I'm so old school or you know like everything you know is what you just gotta do you know what i'm saying like and you the know soul vibe but i do i respect what they're doing because it's it's him he stayed yes. in his pocket he mm-hmm. did it beautifully mm-hmm. yeah. again like the production was dope the engineering yeah. was all right the lyrics i did not like authenticity yeah. not really sure i feel like i heard this before mm-hmm. i feel like i've heard this all before and it was just one again consistent flow of what he was doing and you know what I yeah. will say? Burnt up was definitely my favorite joint, right? I like, I like burnt, burnt up. up, man. Um, I, Is that I, referring to the clap? Is that? I, a- I, I hope that's not what he meant. <laughs> I think the way these young niggas mean burnt up is that if a bitch burns you, that means she did you dirty, uh, right? I you. think, right? I hope. I think they still get diseases bitch, out here. <laughs> <laughs> it is a thing. AIDS is at its all time high. Man. Wrap your shit up, niggas. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> These hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. <laughs> um, and and I, I, I liked how it sounded sonically, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the drawbacks for me was, like I said, it sounded like something that I've heard before. Yeah. Right? And, you know, there's certain lyrics that, like, you know, stood out to me where he said something like people trying to jack his style and jack his sound. I feel like that's just something cool that these young niggas like to say. Mm. But all you niggas sound the same. So how the fuck niggas trying to jack your style, bro? Because you you jacking some other nigga pause. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's not original. You said jacking mad times. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> it's not original, but... <clears throat> It does sound good, and it is what the industry likes. Right. It is what these young niggas like. Y'all right. can make some ill cool dances to this shit, man. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know what I mean? Y'all want to talk about what we gave it, man? Yeah, what we gave So, out of five red cups, man, we gave my man Richard Miri for the better, a solid 3.3. <laughs> out of five red cups, man, Um, keep working, young boy. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Doesn't mean that we ain't paying attention. Um, we just want to see what comes out of it. You going viral. I like what you're doing online. I like what the, the, the numbers online. I hope they're real numbers. I hope y'all ain't paying for them. Um, <laughs> look, we, we just want to see what comes out of it, man. Because this is how, you know, kids get catapulted into fucking stardom these days, mm-hmm. man. So keep working. We going to be watching, bro. Now, the next project that we're going to talk about, man. One of my favorites from the city. Yes. One of my favorites from the. Boom! Boom! Yes. We talking about Shea Bands with pressure. Mm-hmm. This is a 12 track project. It's about 27 minutes <laughs> long. What did y'all think? What did we think? You go first. <laughs> Put a op bitch on a plate. She gonna stay mad. Uh-huh. Mm. She ate that. She mm-hmm. ate that. That was her red cups and rap freestyle. I fucking love that she put it on this project. Yeah, I got tired of looking for it on YouTube over and over again and yeah. running our own numbers up and views. Yeah, I keep running Shay. up my own shit. What are you talking about? 
I mean, I want other people to do that, we, but you get. We ain't buying it. We just watching our shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, like she just like I, she gives me that little sister vibe that Baby that Shay. could just do no wrong, and I fucking love it. Like she's yeah. just she's spicy, she's sweet, she's just everything. She's mm-hmm. everything, honestly, and. I just love that about her. I love listening to her music. Anytime she drops something, I'm just excited for it because she's impressionable. Yes. And she does what she does very well. Yes, she does. Yeah. Don't you think so? No, I mean, I think Shay right now, she, she's she's growing at the rate that she should. Mm. Like That's a good I, assessment. I mean, I don't think that we need to expedite the rate that she's growing at. Mm. Because like, Big her, words. Ex- her experience that she's going through are in her music. <laughs> All right. See, I was just, yeah. I'm listening. Go ahead. You ain't even had to focus. Proceed, on it. my yeah, nigga. Expedite. <laughs> <laughs> expedite your Proceed. shit. Proceed. <laughs> expedite. <laughs> I hate the both of you, man. That was good. That was a good one. But nah, like, I feel like in her music is all her experiences, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah. like, she can't fake none of that nah, shit. Nah. Like, if she were to fake it, we would hear it. Yeah, yeah. You would and then off tell. rip, we would be like, you know, what is nah, this? Nah, this is not her, So right? like, you know, what we're like, obviously we want more from her. Of course. Of course. Because like, you know, the lyrics are just repetitive you know, yeah it's yes. repetitive as far as experiences right it, yeah and that's what i'm basing it off of but i'll hear that shit well over and over and i wouldn't get tired of it she finds a different way to flip the same type of content right. yeah right so I, I i agree with that right like i i do want to see her grow more as an artist as far as like experience in life experience in the world experiencing you know adulthood because she's literally just jumping into that mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i mean um talking about i'm not from the block i'm from the jacks you know what i mean i don't know how many times she spun that line um she is the diamond child right so we were reminded of that with the with the artwork man um beautiful yo shay looks so mature and you know what i love about that bro what there was a lot of things about her image Mm. yeah a lot of people were coming for her image yes Yes. they were yeah yeah Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of people were always saying like, yo, she needs a stylist and blah, 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 blah. I think she's in her bag right now. Whoever man. styled yeah. her for this, she need to stick with them because she killed it. I yeah. mean, she looked good before, but I get, I see what y'all are saying. This yeah. is very mature. This is very sexy. Yeah. The fucking bodysuit. Listen, yeah. I I was one of the, I don't even know if I was one of the first ones. I'm lying. I feel like I was one of the first ones to comment because it's, she just looked that fucking good. The platinum hair, the make yeah. lashes. Yeah. She's just, yeah. she's killing it. She's nah, killing it. Shout out to Baby yeah, Shay, man. Shay. Come on, man. You know, and, and it's weird to like call her sexy and shit because that's Baby Shay. She's to me, sexy. Man. She's you can sexy. say yeah, that. Yeah, I get it. 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 You need help. She's fucking you need help. She's sexy. She's All right. Sexy. She's sexy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Say it. She's Y'all sexy. Fucking <laughs> grabbing the shit out of me, dog. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like, look, Shay Benz is such she, she's literally a melting pot of talent because mm-hmm. yeah. she's a part of that shooter's music umbrella right yeah. so she is in my opinion the lady eight zip right you hear tones of eight zip you hear tones of side street Capo, you hear tones of of of, of km pop out who compliments her very well when they do records together you you even hear you know the, the uh um you know my man uh kt quattro free that man yeah free niggas Q Philly, 2G like Gucci, hunting round Cotto. All of these guys that are around her make her better. Mm. And because she's a female and because she can come from that perspective, it makes her even better than them, yeah. which yeah. is more powerful. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. what what is it? Protect the queen? Mm-hmm. She's, she's the first like lady, the, yeah. man. Yeah. She's the first lady, yeah. dog. That's what they got to do, man. Like, yeah. that's baby Shay, man. And she's calling shots. She's licking shots. She's calling shots. I I just, I love this. I love this project. I love that it's called Pressure because she came with it. What was your favorite song? My favorite song, I would have to say, was Voice Note. Voice Note was hard. That shit was hard. 
real sexy. I'm not going to front. It was voice oh, noise. Yeah. Yeah, that was my shit. Yeah, man. Like, that was my shit, man. Feed Me Lies is really good, too. Feed Me Lies Feed was good. Lies. Yes, it was. It was very it's one good. one of my favorites. I like the joint with K. Instagram star with K and yeah. Pop Out. I, oh, yeah. I like when they, when they get yeah. on their tandem. Like, they, they have Tag a formula. Teaming. Yeah, like, they got a good thing going on, man. Like, that hood love story. Uh, joint mm-hmm. that they drop. Uh, was a ghetto love story? Was a. Uh, was I can't remember. Don't ask me. Either way, man. Yo, her, but, her, and Wave don't make a bad song neither. No, Recording no. Was hard. Yes, yes, yes. Recording Record was, was fire. Um, I'm just excited to see what happens, man. Yeah. With Shay, she's because right she, where she needs to be because she has a lot of growing to do, yeah. and we know she that. does. Like she we does. Said. Um, she, but I, that's I, the beautiful I, thing. Yes, but I do, I do, I do truly believe that if a label's looking at her, my nigga, they're gonna want to snatch her up. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. She's she's versatile. She's moldable. She's, you know what I'm saying. Coachable. I feel like coachable. Yeah. She could fit wherever, yeah. wherever with whoever, and she's gonna stand out regardless. And she is a standout, man. But she is. Let's talk about what we gave this project. Yes. Pressure. Out of five red cups. We gave baby Shay Shay Bands. 4.3 out of 5 red cups, man. Let's throw it up for Baby Shay. Yes. Shay Benz. Boom. Let's get it. Um, I love both of these projects. Um, you know, obviously one more than the other. Um, <laughs> these, are, these, are, <laughs> these are the last ratings we're going to do in a year. But we want to talk about this year, right? What's up, man? How y'all want to bring this Take in? What'd you say? How y'all want to? Y- y'all know we. I can hear y'all, right? Oh, he Everybody had a, can hear y'all. You <laughs> he had a piece of lint on his beard. I was trying to tell him. But either way, man, uh, let's get into this year, man. We had a hell of a motherfucking year. Yeah. Um, we we yeah. started off really strong. Yeah. I'm thinking about the day, man. It's been a long ass day. <laughs> it, it has been a long ass day. Um, you know what I mean? Our camera crew is here holding steady. Mm-hmm. Shout out to, you know, Dawn. Shout out to Brian Angel. Yes. Shout out to Nicole De Silva. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Chino, even though he ain't here. He out. He, he, in Guatemala, in Guatemala. Right? You know, you like Guatemala. That. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> a... <laughs> you gotta say it like that. You in Guatemala. <laughs> Chino don't like that oh shit. Oh, my God. Chino don't like them jokes. Yo, I used to work with a lot of Guatemala. <laughs> I'm like, Jose, where you from? Guatemala. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's how you say that shit. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my man, Chino. GG, get the yayo. Um, the team is strong. Yes. The foundation is strong. Now that we're in a new location, it, it, it gives me a lot of, uh, you know, reflection, mm-hmm. right? Over the year, man. And um, and I, and I want to be the first one to say it. Shout out to Exposed TV, man. For real, because we spent the bulk of our year there. Um, we've experienced a lot of dope moments over there. We've learned yes. a lot. We grew a lot as a as a brand, um, as a team, and also um, just as individuals as well. Um, and we can't talk about 2022 without talking about Exposed TV, this right? This is true. All we are in a new episodes were there. Literally. This is true. We're in a new home now, but... You know, what was there was, was you know, once home. And so shout out to them and what they got going on over here. Yes. But <laughs> we in the sound lab Shut now. Shut that baby. Train, baby. <laughs> it's been a You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the garage, baby. Uh, but uh, <laughs> this is that Britney Griner for that Russian nigga shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we that Russian nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the streets got <laughs> their plug. <laughs> I like how y'all did that. Oh, like shit. That. Oh, yeah. man. The streets is back, nigga. Yeah, we man, outside we with back that shit. Full of fact, dropping bombs. Nigga on dogs. Shout out to Big Shug, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> also, um, we going to do this recap a little different from what yeah. we did for the Thank past you, two Jesus years. Right? <laughs> His past birthday's years. coming up. Shout out to Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Your birthday. How many years is it? Big J. How old is this nigga now? A lot old. A lot, a lot old. old. <laughs> We're definitely AD, right? AD is fuck. It's A-D-A-F. After death as fuck. <laughs> I hate this nigga so much. Yeah, all right, proceed. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ. So, oh, my God. <laughs> this 
Spider Man oh and the God. Latter Day Saints. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so the last two years, we literally went through every episode, right? This year, we're gonna literally give y'all our collective top ten episodes as far as the moments that we had were, and we're each individually gonna give you our five, our top five rank ups and raps freestyles, right? Um, but the first episode, man, we want to talk about, right? And this is no particular order either, man. I want to tell you all that right now because we weren't we weren't talking about order when we put this list together, right? So it's not from when it happened chronologically. It wasn't as far as importance or whatever the case may be. But we're talking about top 10 moments that we had as a team. Episodes. Um, Stop saying moments. Moments sounds mad like crazy. Yeah, because there's a okay. lot of moments. Yeah, there were a lot of moments. Yeah, yes. episodes. Top 10 episodes that we had, right? So the first one we're going to start off with, my man Hunter Round Cotto. Hunter Round. Hunter Round. With a podcast we couldn't refuse, right? I forget what episode that was, but that was with me and Bells. We Yo, actually shout out to Bells. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Bells. Big Bells from a big, big Bells block. From a big block, got a big Glock. Mm-hmm. You heard? Uh, she ain't never she cocked back it. a Glock. Not she ever in her life. She, she, you don't know that. The Glock, the Glock is bigger than her, my nigga. You don't know, you know that. Know that. I mean? Shout out to Bells, my Bells baby, my sister. Fear if I she ever her. shot a gun. <laughs> um, she was ill enough to like you know want to do that with us well with me we went over there with the whole team the whole camera team um and it was like when Kato first came home Mm -hmm. right it was like a homecoming episode and I loved it man I mean it was one of those it was a learning moment for me um I mean honestly man the fucking publicity that that fucking episode brought was crazy yeah as of late Yes. Well, I mean, yeah. just I mean, fuck it. As of late, sure, but I mean, in general, like, yeah. there's nothing that ever got us like the looks that that episode got ever. us, and I feel like ever. that's because Kato as a person, yeah, is just so contagious. Like, mm-hmm. and Kato's Kato, like, his story is so crazy. It is. Yeah. Like, do y'all remember the first episode? Yeah, no, the first episode. I was, remember listening to it, bro. The the and freestyle. just learning about everything, everything, his background. Yeah, yeah. His story is definitely crazy. And I love that the first episode of Kato was called to be to be continued. Mm. Because immediately everybody knew that we wanted to hear from this guy again. Yeah. He got yeah. a lot of good shit to say. And I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Voodoo baby, man. My man Kato, we was gonna do a different type of episode with Kato. I get a call from him when he was in the joint. He said, scratch all of that. Voodoo baby coming home. Mm. <laughs> and I said, word? He said, yeah. nigga, I'll be home in 12 days. That nigga done killed six goats and seven chickens. <laughs> <laughs> coming home, nigga. Made and in the, 12 days. <laughs> made the blood spread, nigga. 12 <laughs> days I get a call <laughs> from a number I didn't recognize. And it was who? The Voodoo. godfather. Voodoo baby. He was like, yo, look. Come see me <clears throat> in my place of residence. But make Man. sure you wear chicken blood all over your <laughs> Rub yourself in chicken blood. That's not what he said. Shut <laughs> up. Um, it was a beautiful conversation. Yeah. Nah, it was fire. I thought it was probably one of the most um, insightful episodes, like as far as like how much quotables you can get from it. And, you know, you leave it to say cheese. You leave it to, you know, um, see the thing is podcast. Yes, one of my fucking favorites. The you fact that he got on tell is me, crazy. Tell me a reason why you don't like us and they, they can't be dead. Yeah. Yo, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that line was so fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's on one. Um, that shit was cold, <laughs> nigga. Uh, spiritual word mm-hmm. was spinning this. I mean, I'm literally like. This yeah. episode literally was going viral yeah. on the internet, man. So shout out to Kato, bro. Shout out to, you know, the relationship that we built. And I love the fact that we get to share your story, bro. And you get to share ours at the same time simultaneously, bro. Um, and one of the realest ill nigga moments that I've ever had with Kato is he said, bro, if I'm going to go up, CWTFB radio is going up with me, right? 
So I'll never forget that conversation. I talk to Kato a lot. That's my nigga. You know what I mean? Wow. I talk to that nigga at least maybe two, three times a month. You know what I mean? Like, that's really my mans. And I wholeheartedly support him. This whole brand's going to be behind and around Kato. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. No attempts. Shooters. Yeah. What y'all got going on for that? I, love I that. mean, shit. I, I don't. I don't even have nothing to say. Very insightful, like you said. I haven't met Cotto yet. That's crazy. I haven't met Cotto. That's insane. Maybe next year I'll meet Cotto. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, I've you gotta met meet him. Kato. I spoke to him. Yeah. Wow. That's I think great. that'll be good. And yeah, <laughs> it would be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you could tell his energy is, is felt. His energy yeah. is felt, and I'm not even. I wasn't even there, so. Yeah, I just feel let's, a let's, sense of security when the niggas around. Him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I would think so. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I I felt, would believe so. I just felt like there was safety around. Yeah. Even though there was probably no safety around. <laughs> 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 All right, nigga, let's move on, right? Um, <clears throat> the next episode we want to talk about was actually... It was a host episode with the three of us, man. Ooh. Which one? Um, public Enema. Oh, shit. That's when I learned what an enema was. <laughs> <laughs> you would do for your ass. Shut the front door. For like a whole month. I you know like, I was not. Don't put that shit what on What episode there? was that, man? What number That's was that? That was episode was not for a month. 117. It was like a cleanse. It was just like three times. Maybe. So the Kato episode was 128. Like Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> Public Enema was 117. <laughs> right? It this was with the three of us. I felt like <clears throat> our, our energy on that joint was just like unmatched. It was beautiful. Yeah. You know why? For me personally, it was fucking dropping like 15 pounds. Mm. Like I detoxed. I felt great. I got rid of a lot of toxins. Look at my skin. My skin was glowing. We, talk, we talked about it publicly. Man. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the enema. Yeah. That cash got one. won't try because I share that detox with you. Yeah. I Did you do I, I it? Got the recipe. You got to lay on I'm your side and let, and, let, and let somebody squirt some shit in your I, ass. Nah, you don't got to let nobody do, do it. He could do it himself. Rinse, like when you like, like squirt the up shit your nose. up your nose. You, d- you like got a saline rinse for your ass? Nah, but it's like the same thing, right? Yeah, not really, but kind of. The only difference is, is with that you when you squirt that it up shit your nose, in your ass. it comes right out. With right. the enema, you lay on your side, or you can get on all fours. Wow, right, come um, on, <laughs> I'm not keep going. But you lay on your side, okay. right? <laughs> the water I used was not what came in it. You dumped that. Put your own concoction. Jesus you know, juice, some olive oil, <laughs> and some warm olive distilled oil that water. I cook with? Okay. Yeah, olive oil, warm distilled water, and okay. a key lime, right? Key lime. That's going to get all that shit up out of there. Wow. Right? And you squirt as much as you can, but hopefully the entire container in your anus and hold it in your butt for like 15, 20 minutes. Just let it marinate. And then when you get up, <laughs> you're going to go to the bathroom naturally. All right. Now, you going to shit or you going or you going to piss? <laughs> <laughs> both. Oh God! Damn. Except they both coming out your ass. Oh wow! I mean, it is what it. I mean, but it. But it's look. You lost fifteen. How often? Doing that? How often? No. How often are you supposed to? End? <laughs> you fucking stupid. Now, uh, I, 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 I think you're supposed to. You end a... Is it heavy duty? Of course. <laughs> First of all, let's get this straight. I say this at home. I take flowers. Okay. Oh, you don't shit. My at shit's home. sweet. That's right. You never farted around your man. I don't fart. You don't fart around That's him. Right. No, I don't. God bless wow. You. you can ask him. Twelve years. Never heard me fart. I don't yeah, think it's good cute. for him. Anyway, that's anyway, I'm gonna fart right now. You better not. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna talk about don't this do episode. that. That's personal. And that's not the only thing. That's not the only thing that was spoken about. <laughs> What else did we talk about? We yeah, talked about we so about. much. We we did speak about a lot. Uh, <laughs> he was talking about, you know, what's going on Your with pocket us. Pies are good, right, the, That was around the Will Smith and Chris Rock oh, scandal. Oh, yeah, scandal. that was. That nigga got slapped. It wasn't really a scandal. Yeah, you're right. You don't think that was a scandal? No. You think it was staged? You Have you ever seen... That's, that's just to answer your question, which is a yes, but have you ever seen a, some kind of old school video 
and it's literally the same exact thing at an award show. Really? Yes. With whom? I don't know these actors, but they're actors. Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll drop it in the chat. I promise I you. When I seen it, I felt completely different. Like, oh shit! I thought that was a genuine moment where he was protecting his woman, and wow, come to find out. Absolutely. They, they you in the comments for that, and you still gonna say that shit? I don't give a fuck because look, I'm a. If my man want to slap a nigga, then we both slapping niggas. If your man slaps a nigga being a hundred percent wrong, I'm gonna let him know he's a hundred percent wrong behind later, closed doors. Being but the wrong thing is, right? If if my man got to a point where he's ready to slap a nigga, then I know there is absolutely. 100 percent a problem because he wouldn't do that he's very controlled will smith lost control in that moment i did agree with that so for whoever said whatever in the comments because i don't he care he looked at that poison pussy wife of his Please. he looked at her preach brother and it was a rap he was <laughs> he looked over he's like, not everything that glitters is gold chanel he's like, oh shit y'all just be Oh shit! Come on now, I should slap him. Chanel, he walked all the way from his seat. It was staged. Now that I right, like, well, know I what I know, right, now it, that it, I know it, what I know, right, it's if you put it like that, me. if it's staged, then I right, they sold me. Yeah, they really? sold the shit. They sold me for, for it to be staged for the nigga be shunned by Hollywood is crazy. Yeah. Why the fuck would you stage some shit just to get fucked? Have you, you, know you seen I mean? Emancipation? Wild, Have you, you know seen I mean? I didn't see that yet. No. I Look at where he had to crawl to do movies. At. I have zero intentions on watching that movie because I don't like slave movies. But that's another story. Django was the shit. The um, <laughs> yes, you're right. It was. But um, not only did we talk about that, we talked about this was the, the first time we spoke about Britney Griner. That really? was the first time. Wow. Yeah. One year in a Russian prison ain't that bad, especially when you're seven feet. Now that I think about it, wow. like when you laid out, when wow. you laid all out, how many <laughs> wow. Russian bitches you think was as big as her? She was probably running the prison as soon as There's she some big ass Russian bitches, my nigga. You think so? Let's think about it, my nigga. How many Russian bitches you know that like you really? I don't know a lot of Russian bitches, right? Yeah. Right. right, right. And a lot of these bitches are huge. Yeah. All right, you win, you win. You win. That's done. Yeah. Oh my god. Right. You know what that I'm saying? That was the first time she got jammed up. All these bitches is named Olga. They just sound big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every single one of them. Not Olga. But either way, um, <laughs> I love this episode. I did think it was like one of our better, like, you know, just flowing episodes. Such a great time. It was. It definitely was. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with that shit. We did. Um, anything else y'all want to say about that? Nah. Nah, man. I was drunk then and I'm drunk now. <laughs> That's a fact. We know, my nigga. We know. <laughs> you gotta right, love one. you cash <laughs> the next episode we're gonna talk about from this year that was probably very monumental was probably one of our most recent ones it was hoot wave no was it hoot wave god damn what was that amen episode nigga? what list god, are you shit. reading from well i didn't write the name of the episode we just had again. a list it was hoot motion my fault <laughs> with body rock yes <laughs> Hoot Wave is the project he just dropped today. I told oh, him today? To, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. He was asking for 500 comments and he'll drop it. I told, I commented, your ADHD won't stand for this. <laughs> <laughs> he still dropped it. Shout out to you, Huto. <laughs> El Huto. What you want for Christmas, El Huto? Yeah. A Desert, Desert Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was one of our most fun episodes, man. Absolutely one of the best. It's Especially family. with the three of us. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's family. Yeah. Um, Body Rock is just like, you know what I mean? His his character is larger than life. He's so much fun. Yes, he is. He's like, he's, he's a person. Yeah. He's actually a person That's who you can have a conversation. No, I actually, I okay. think I met him at the BMAs last year. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm at the be amazed, and then I ran into him over the summer at one of these R&B events. Yeah, and it was all love. And then this was like my third time seeing him for that episode. Okay, um, I thought he interviewed really fucking well. He really does. He does. I I felt like it was also with us. It was a conversation because I watch his interviews. Okay, and when he gets interviewed, like it's kind of like. Like he makes it entertaining, but yeah. right. Yeah, you know I mean, when it's a conversation right. with us, though, like another you know level. I mean? Yeah, it's a another level. That's, that's really our nigga, man. Yeah, like we, like, we yeah, talk I mean, to to, to body all the time, my nigga. Like, yeah, I mean, that's yeah, really like, my dog. Like, yeah, no, nah, I never said that. <laughs> 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 
that was like the best fucking moment for me like the she whole was, year and you were so sincere the you're like year. buddy i'm feeling like you don't talk to women with substance <laughs> oh yeah i never said i was fucking women with substance <laughs> like yeah no i never said that i said that <laughs> you gotta put that clip like right after this that like, shit was so people perfect people gotta see that clip because it was so funny like how you see it in the real is how it was <laughs> oh, in dog. real life the shit was so fucking funny he was dead ass serious oh yeah he, he was, was dead serious. He <laughs> was like so confused at why you would ask All such right, a question. Like, oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I <laughs> Baddies, nigga. First tips. <laughs> Baddies, nigga. Baddies. First tips, nigga. <laughs> she got oh a jaddy. You know what I mean? She got motion. Right. She got a jaddy. You know what I mean? That's All what right. I like. <laughs> I never said that shit, no. And shout out to Ella who throw my yeah. nigga. He got my son saying on dogs. On dogs, nigga. He got my dogs, son nigga. saying on dogs. Did you send him that me. video? I sent it to him. Yo, that's excellent. I sent the video to Bordy because, I, like, if if you make an impression on my son and you got him saying shit, on dogs, nigga. He's so you crucial. The one. He's you so one crucial in my to eyes. what we have going on. He's very yeah. important to like you know what, what I mean. Everybody got going yeah. on. Yeah. Like when you talk yeah. about this region and this yeah. is everything. Like he's imperative. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Wow, this nigga coming out with the words today, my nigga. It's imperative. Yeah, I, can't say, I can't say shit. <laughs> Expedite. Yo, that's, that's crazy, my nigga. I can't say shit. Come on. Today. I can't wow, wait for bro. the third. I'm proud of you, my nigga. Like, wow. Yeah, I know this I'm nigga got a, start, yeah. like, a head nigga, start. Like, yeah. That's crazy. He got a head start for 23. Yo, shout out to right you, right my here. nigga. It's this part right here. Shout like, you, my nigga. Let's up cash, man. Yeah. On dogs, nigga. Oh, man. Uh, all right. So let's move on, man. Uh, another great moment we had this Who year. these enemies with friends like y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another great episode we had this year, man, which was also fairly recent, mm -hmm. was episode 148, Domingo Sun, with... The living legend from Mass, Lawrence Mass, to be exact. My man, Time. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? I love Term, term too. We all love Term, man. I mean, Term is like, he's one of those guys that like, he's not, he never thinks he's ever too big to like really reach back to everybody. Very down to earth. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you, like people think Term from New York. Yeah. He gives that New York vibe. It pisses me off when they when they say that though. Why? Because nigga, he represents that he's Lawrence. He does. He like, does. Very, very he open. Does. Well, I mean, yes, but at the same time, it's like, where did he get hot? You know what I mean? Like New York. Yeah. Where you know, would anybody go to get hot? He got hot fucking with Primo, K Slay. You know, a lot of niggas, man. So like, you know, MOP. You know, all, all these dudes that, like, he really got hot fucking with, like, musically, it, it would lead a lot of people to believe that he's from New York. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Probably and, where he was more received. Yeah. And 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 I've seen a lot of interviews with Term. I think this was my, this might have been, like, his most, like, forthcoming and vulnerable interview he's ever done. Yeah. Out of 46 projects. <laughs> I mean Domingo Sun. Yeah. Like the name of the of the interview. Like for those who knew him, they was like, yo, that's fire. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Like anybody who I seen say, yo, that's fire title for the interview. Right. Was somebody that he followed and you could tell that he kinda knew. Right. No, you know somebody what I'm saying? who really so it's like with him. Yeah. So I feel like I've watched his interviews, yes. But another thing, like with us. Feel like that interview changes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, it just feels like it's a more family vibe. It's yeah. respect you know thing. I mean? yeah. it, it was, it was, it was the respectful thing. Nah, to do he as gets well. crazy it, respect. It I don't want to say that it's, it's it's more than respecting. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean, I feel like Term was away with us that he ain't with anybody. A lot else. of other yeah, yeah, bro. He does a lot of interviews. He's terminology. Yeah. That's a fact. Name. Don't ever forget it. Like it's not like he's he's a fucking walking hip hop legend. Yeah, he shows so much love. Yeah, he shows so much love. Like he has, he has got to yeah, be the the center. What do you call it? Like the motto, the 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 model for 
anybody in the industry and and how you build relationships with right. people like us in the right. industry and for genuine the culture. Genuine relationships. It's very genuine. It's yeah. very like heartfelt. It's it's real. It's real. And you know what I'm saying? You don't even have to have certain memories with him for him to just be who he is and how he is towards you. It's just right. like off the rip. That's just what it is. Right. Because he said so. Mm-hmm. And um, I just love that he was able to, you know, um, give a piece of him on on, on the platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he actually rapped for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go Like the fact that not only did he rap for us, he posted it all over his social media. He mentioned our names. You know what I mean? He 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 really, you know, he really showed that he fucks with the platform, man. Yep. And we're a fan of his as much as he is a fan of ours. Yeah, it's mutual. Yeah, and um, yeah, man. Shout out to Term, man. Shout One out to Term, man. Yeah. Every time. I still want my Coogee sweater, Term. Term. I'm gonna show you a picture of my son, man. He was wearing a, his Coogee sweater his first birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to you, my nigga. You do the Coogee shit. All right, man. So the next joint we're going to talk about was episode. What was the number of this episode, man? I got I to gotta scroll back for this one, man. Yeah. This was episode. Drum roll, anybody? 113. This was with me and D-Mal, man. It was the only one-on-one I did all year. It was a really good one. You know, one-on-ones don't happen too often anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, this, this, <laughs> we wasn't invited, guys. It wasn't I, that y'all wasn't invited. <laughs> I, I was in the room. It I wasn't was that room. y'all wasn't invited. Don't I wasn't in the room. Don't do no. that. Now, uh, I would have loved this. to be though. You know, because it was a part two. Like I felt yeah. like it was a conversation um, that we had before, and we had to keep it going. So this is episode one thirteen. Stay loyal, part two. With Woody, aka D Mal from Free BNF that man. Podcast. Free D Mal. Um, you know, D Mal and I, when we first got on that first episode, um, back in 2020, or was it 2021? I can't remember what year it was. Um, either way, I think it was 2020, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Pandemic. Um, yeah, Plan it was like, it was, yeah, it was just after quarantine mm. um, pandemic on dogs the pandemic <laughs> um we had an ill conversation i felt like both every time that me and d-mail sat across from each other we wanted to challenge each other as podcasters oh yeah yeah you know absolutely what I mean? um and you know everybody when you look at you know his platform and our platform it's literally like I think they go hand in hand. Like there has to be a CWTFB radio to a BNF podcast, mm. yeah. and there has to be a BNF podcast to a CWTFB radio because we kind of do the same thing in totally different ways. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. He taps in with the streets. We tap in with the music and the streets. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He taps in with. The street music. <laughs> we tap in with the streets and the music. Like you know what I mean? Like so yeah. it, it's it's we have a love for the same thing, but we express it totally different. And we call each other out on on, on each other's bullshit. Which is right? necessary. You know what I mean? Like if we all gonna be in the same space, nigga. Yeah. See, uh, BNF I, I respect. <laughs> BNF I respect because BNF is gonna keep it clear, yeah. transparent. Mm-hmm. For if all your other podcast niggas, if we all in the same region doing the same shit, don't become something you're not. Be everything that you are. Right. Mm-hmm. Being you sells, my nigga. Yeah. So be you, be but drop more episodes, my nigga. Yeah. Be more consistent. Yeah. Because we don't want to be the niggas leading the race every time. Actually, I kind of do. I mean, uh, but I'm saying like, I want to be know. excited for another. <laughs> if another podcast says, yo, we drop it every Tuesday. Right. I'm kind of going to tune in mm-hmm. every Tuesday just mm-hmm. to check. Yeah. Am I, like, not for nothing? No, nah, that's for real. You know what I'm saying? Or if you miss the Tuesday, you know you can yeah, check the next you, one. You know you can go back. Yeah, you, you know can what count mean? on it. Yeah. yeah that yeah. is true. That um, is true. What did you take from that episode, Nelly? I just love seeing somebody ruffle your feathers. 
<laughs> you thought my you thought my feathers my feathers was ruffled? Y'all ruffle each other's feathers if you ask me. <laughs> like the two of y'all, I remember watching that episode, and I think I text you. I, I I don't know if I called you or spoke to you after, and I'm like, that was good. Like, do y'all even like each other? That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> y'all did that very well. Whatever it was, I don't mm-hmm. know him personally, but. I think it was beautiful to see two of the hottest guys in this scene, two of the number one podcast hosts, just have a genuine conversation, word. no matter the differences that you guys had. Word, word. Yeah. You know, s- sometimes differences are caused by misunderstandings. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, differences are caused by unsaid things. Yeah. Right. Um, but either way, I got mad love for that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I hope he's well. I hope he's doing his thing, and you know, he's gonna come home. And and honestly, that this is a message for a lot of podcasters, including us. When this nigga come home, he's mm-hmm. gonna go crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. lose so his mind. All he keeps telling niggas is to level up while he in there, because you already know what's gonna happen. This nigga's gonna come out with mad fucking stories, mm-hmm. my nigga. This nigga is gonna come out looking like two eleven Mad Jack, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's gonna be doing mad pull ups. He's gonna have the, the upside down triangle body, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mad pull ups with nigga. the wings. like Johnny Bravo. Right, with the wings. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So shout out D Mal, man. I'm not sure where you at right now, my nigga. You somewhere in the feds, bro, but hold your head, my nigga. Be in there forever, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Broken fronting. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Yo, man. Uh, next episode we want to talk about, man. Um, this was um, a first for us. We ain't never did no shit like this. We don't typically do st- stuff like this just because, you know, we're, we're just not that that platform to talk mm-hmm. about mental health and things of that nature. But I love that we actually got that all and that was another thing that i wanted to talk about this year that we we expanded our palette a little bit when, when it came to you know who we had on the platforms right mm-hmm. and the type of episodes that we did we let anybody on this bitch nah don't, <laughs> don't say that say don't say that, that. <laughs> don't say that but we did not let anybody on nah, this no. we're still very selective but we were a little more open-minded <laughs> to the kind of conversations we are having joking, so this is going back to episode 125 it's called Black Thought with Kurt Faustin and Celeste the Therapist, man. Shout out to them. Nah, I love, I this, love this one. What'd I love, love this one. It? You know, I love anything about like just mental health and conversations about it and about, you know, our inner beings. This was just great. And I love that we had like a black man and a black woman. Absolutely. Like just the duality of it was beautiful and fucking Celeste, her laugh. I oh, can't right. get that laugh out of my head. I wish I had the sound bite. I would have just you threw it in gotta there. I got to figure out a way to get yeah, that one in. Oh, damn. Oh, her laugh is so infectious. Like, oh, my God. The shit was just so funny. I, <laughs> I love that conversation with them. It was so dope Like to be therapists, whether it was mental health or yeah. life coaches or teachers or whatever they label themselves as they were just they were people too like they were real people who went through real things and um i appreciate them just coming up there and sharing that that space with us and being open and transparent and vulnerable and and dropping a lot of gems oh yeah dropping a lot of gems absolutely Mm mm-hmm I felt very educated left yeah. leaving that joint. Yeah. Yeah. No bullshit. I didn't want to call nobody no bitch. No, you know what I mean? No <laughs> no F word. You know what I mean? None of that. You know what I'm saying? Like and honestly, like it But we, you did. I I, I mean it's And you time. still do. I'm just saying, like, it it took time, but either way, what I'm saying is like, <laughs> like we learned so much, nigga. Like it was a lot and there's a lot of shit we don't get to talk about mm-hmm. right. that we talked about with them. Like a lot right. of rappers don't want to talk about the shit that we talk about with right. them. Right. We talk about medication and yeah. shit. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like those right. conversations I have with my wife where we go back and forth and we agree. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like to have it in that open, you know. Forum, is that okay? That's yeah. not a big word. That's, that's, that's another big word for you. That's number three, I think. 
Forum is kind of big yeah, for want, him. This is a Forum is a word. I yeah. want to say a big word. Yeah, I hate yeah. you. Yeah. Really. Either way, having right. it, having it in it's that a point five. It was fire. Like, <laughs> like, it, like it was fire. So like, I think it was like a standout. It was so it was dope. A standout. It, was it definitely so dope. was a standout what episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it was. It was a turn away from the norm. Um, yeah. But, but I, I did like that we had to that we had conversations like. You know what drill music's doing to black men? Yeah, yep. things of that nature. What y'all say? Fifty third. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, see, you brought it up. You what? See, that was yeah. the drill part. Fifty third. Fifty third. I was just saying the part that was drill. That's all I was saying. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I thought it was um dope to see Kurt. You know, Kurt, like, he, he does this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like, you know, the, uh, the what, what's the name of his joint, man? Um, oh, shit. Goddamn. The, the dropout summit. That's what it's. Oh, yes, a, that's yes, yes. Is, right? Bounty so, needs to give that going, man yeah. a deal. That man wastes a paper towel every day. <laughs> what? You think it's a waste? <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful message. <laughs> no, it's a great message. <laughs> but but it's a whole I know what he needs, my nigga. <laughs> Like, Kill, it's beautiful. Do you know how much that shit could pick up? Mm-hmm. A quicker pick a wreck up, pick, <laughs> quicker pick a rubber, a bounty quicker pick a rubber. <laughs> like why they could waste that shit for a sharpie message? No, no oh, he's dope. always dropping some dope messages, and, and a lot of them were like very like insightful and mature. Bounty but there was one, man. there was one where I was like, yeah, Kurt, and he said, um, just a reminder, someone will do some lame shit today, and then. It was the dot, dot, dot. And then when he dropped it in the morning, it says, ignore it. It was very wow, simple, wow, but I like that. I loved it because I'm like, yes, Kurt. Like, I needed to see that today. And yeah. somebody did some lame shit. And I was he like, you know what? All that water paying too? you no mind. Mm. Like, he running mad water, my nigga. Yeah. Just to not How wash you know it's face? not recycled water? He might just keep the same water. For Chanel, these reels. there's no fucking way. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> this nigga's water bill is sky high. <laughs> his, the water that his he, napkin it's not and running water, water bill is atrocious. It's not running water. It's nigga. just sitting in the sink with the stopper. It's not running. So you think the nigga just leave water in his sink every well, day? You think no. He, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is it's better, possible. Yo, Kurt, you better be It's buying. possible to to cup it out, put it back in the container, the and then pour BJ's it back in again. to use it. Okay. Buy the All family right. pack. Of that's a really towels, that's man. a really good concept. He's Haitian, right? Like, you know, like, y'all niggas don't waste shit. I like I like the fact really that you don't. think that he's that resourceful, I really don't. and I hope that he is. But I like don't. I don't I don't like that they don't have a lock on their thermostat in this building. Like I'm I got a lock on my thermostat. Y'all don't got to lock on y'all thermostat? No cap. No. Proceed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but that was an excellent, insightful episode. I yeah. loved how all of us were able to be a part of that. Yeah. Um, but moving on, man, right? To the next one we're going to talk about. This is episode 130, right? This was called Top of the Hub. Mm. This is with my man Brandon Bedlam Matthews. Noble from the Museum TV, part of the home team now. Yeah. Miss Hot Sauce from Spark FM. DJ E Double. You already know yes. who he is. Jordan Lucas is DJ. He on Jamie 94.5. Um, Sam from It's Lit Boston. Kateria from Exposed TV. And of course, myself. I was on that joint. We wasn't invited to this one either. Y'all was there. Don't act like that. <laughs> I had invited I had, on the episode. I had I fire there. diarrhea that day. I we, remember that shit. Yeah, bro. Was he was running out the building, dripping the, wet. There yeah, wasn't. Was there wasn't enough microphones. To there, was, there wasn't enough bathroom for me, my <laughs> nigga. On dog. I needed a shower every time I used the toilet. <laughs> but I felt like this was one of the illest episodes, and also mm-hmm. one of the most snoozed episodes as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I thought it would have been. I thought it would have got way more views and listens. Me too. Based on you know what I? You know what I got from this? What you get from? This? He ain't even let you finish. Nah, go ahead. Not nah, go ahead. <laughs> nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just nah. want you to be aware. Go ahead. Nah, let him. Finish. Nah, nah, go ahead. You go ahead. already wanna, started. What'd you get from it? I feel like what I got from this was a lot of people wasn't feeling what the message was across. What was like that? the message that we got across. I feel like we didn't. They feel like we didn't talk about the right things. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, feel I like, remember that being, yep, yeah, mm. yeah. I remember that being a topic of conversation. So, if we were to do it again, would would you do it differently? Um, 
Yeah, for sure. Um, but I also think that when things do happen, you have to embrace them for what they are, mm. opposed to what they could have been. Say that. You know what I mean? it, like, like let, let's not talk about you know, like, oh well, we should have did this this way, this that way, you know, because it's already done. You know what I mean? And and I think that's like a real short sighted way to think about shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I think the conversation was really dope. I think the fact that we had all these different media like you know names in the same room having the same conversation was fire you know what i mean like it wasn't it, it's not too often that you can actually make this happen yeah you know what i mean like it's 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 not it's not common like you know yeah. what i mean you don't see for one for one bedlam don't do interviews no, you know what i mean don't. two DJ E Double don't do interviews. Mm-hmm. He don't. Right? <laughs> and he needs to. Right. He got a lot to say. He got a lot to say, and he is tapped in with a lot of motherfucking yep. people. Yep. Um, you know, could it have been better? Absolutely. Could I have mediated it better? Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say I couldn't have. Um, but the way it came out and the, and for what it was and it was important. It yeah. was a start. It was a start to was something. Crazy. I think it's it's definitely yeah. a start to a network. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Um and sure. to have all these same people in the same room again, I highly doubt that would happen. It exactly be, the same way it happened. It could be okay. mixed up. But we have many different things, you know what I mean? I think it's possible. Anything is it possible. It could be mixed up. I think Chanel. I think it doesn't that, have to be the same exactly. Everything is possible, okay. right? No, it doesn't but, have to be the probable. same. Okay, exact don't people. say my name po- poss- again like that. Calm the fuck down. Possible and probable are two different things, right? But are either they? way, w- w- what did y'all take away from that? Like like, you know what I mean? Like I think it was a necessary conversation yeah, for necessary. for the culture, for the people. Just seeing all of you guys come together again like beautiful yeah beautiful necessary um damn the energy was great i I like i like flexing our strength i think it's a flex to see wtfb being able to bring those people together yeah on the platform that was a flex of what we provide these are major pieces so i feel like major pieces you picked the most important people yes of them all Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine any and, and not to shit on anybody else, man. Yeah. yeah. No, and it could have been a few missing I mean, like here and there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But this for what it was. It was the perfect people. It was. Yeah. It was. It was a perfect set. Yeah. It was a great conversation nonetheless. It was. Um it's a conversation worth I want listening in on to the also. Next one, though. Yeah, we, we definitely gotta do another one for twenty twenty. Get more mics, nigga. Uh, <laughs> 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 we gotta get more more um diverse with the conversations more in depth with the conversations yeah i forgot which one it was that y'all spent a lot of time on some topics where i think it would have been great to t- to cover more you so, know what so i'm saying the biggest argument was <laughs> we spent too much time on the artists and not, that's what it was and not enough time differentiating the platforms on what right. our strengths are and what we do that set us apart and really right? showing y'all skills you need the, the the reason why my mind didn't go there, and I'll, I'll just be completely honest, is because I felt <laughs> everybody should have. I thought he was gonna say because he was drunk. But nah, nah, not even that. I felt like everybody should have promoted it in their in their way, and their own following would have went to that. Got and it. And then that would have became like a cross cross promo. You know, cross yeah. pro, promo. I didn't see that happen, right? which that is that is true. Not everybody promoted it right you know what that i mean and, and that's why i feel like it wasn't seen to the masses as we would have liked it to be seen mm-hmm. just because you know everybody everybody had a, something ill to say they really did everybody man. had an ill piece to say dog like i i don't believe i in fact i feel like i was the only one that kind of like just drew back a little bit because i was trying to mediate the whole conversation mm-hmm. i didn't talk about you know cwtfb as far as like what we do well and things of that nature we spoke about a lot of, and yeah, of course, you know, everybody knows Ooh, shit if they watch the show. But like, when we could have all just threw everything into a melting pot, it would have it would have flourished a little better. And then everybody would have noticed that, yo, if you look at this platform, it's different this way. I feel like, you know, my my whole idea was let that leave that to the people, leave that to the people to decipher what we all do. But um. 
you know, there's always room for improvement, man. And um, and that's why we're here. We learn every day. Yeah, you know what I mean, those that, man, that, that has to be annual. Yeah. That spin has around, to be an spin annual. Around thing. for that is gonna be crazy. Yeah, it has yeah. to be an annual. Yeah. One. My man, Noble always says an inch a day. Man, we gonna get that. We gonna get that day. done. Man. Mm. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I, that's kind of wild. Um, Wake anyway. the fuck up! <laughs> I'm awake. We here. So the next one we want to talk about was literally the next episode after that. It was episode 131. With none other than my man Exit Fame, man. Oh. That was the one right after? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Exit Fame. That was Exit such Fame a dope episode. Is one of the most unique artists out of here because the story is so forthcoming. You know, tragedy to triumph. Mm. Um, Perfectly said. Yeah, the transparency is crazy. Yo, transparency is crazy. Yeah, like, 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 crazy like we, is not like, even the word. Like, like, we hear it in the music, so like, so much so. When the interview came, I was like, "Can we ask these questions?" Right. I was like, "Yo," and like, and it, like it felt slightly disrespectful. Yeah, I, a little bit yeah. until I got to meet him and realized the space he was in. Yeah. And he's like, nigga, I got to talk about this shit. Right. Because yeah. if I don't talk about this shit, I'm not accepting this shit. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that right there was a whole life lesson for me. Right. I learned so much from that interview. Yeah. Like, we was laughing at shit. I feel like 95% of anybody else would take as disrespect. Yeah. Absolutely. We would have got shot <laughs> by a lot of niggas. Shot. <clears throat> no, nah, I'm saying no. You know oh my God, I had my pepper spray as I nah, do but now. Do you get what I'm saying though? Yeah. Like, like, you don't think it was a learning curve? Well, for, for one, who? I'm just asking you. For, for who? me, <laughs> nigga, I don't know. Ask yourself. The fuck? Well, you asked somebody for who? Did you who learn else something? I can't never know who else could learn I'm something. I'm saying but like for me. us or for him. For us, a learning I'm, curve. I'm, just... I'm assuming we all learned something because I learned <laughs> yeah. something from it. So okay. Did we all learn something? What from did it? you oh, learn? Absolutely. I learned something that you you can still be transparent, accept your shit. Yeah. You gotta accept your shit at any degree. Yeah. At any fucking temperature, no matter what is coming at you, accept that shit. That the is good, true. The bad, okay. the ugly. Every time. I definitely learned that it's okay to laugh at your pain. Yes. Like laugh at my pain is a, is yes. a thing, and you know I, I like that. It's everything. Don't got to be so serious. So yeah. Yeah, I, I learned something. All right, then don't assault Calm me. Calm down. Just take What'd that. you learn? What What I learned was, you know, never judge a book by its cover, because we did that shit. Um, <laughs> I definitely prejudged Exit <laughs> Fame a few times. Yeah. Prior to having him on the show. Yeah. You know, um, whether it be from his past, or whether it be from his affiliations, um, and it wasn't fair because when I met the man, I grew the utmost respect for him. The fact that he was so forthcoming about his story mm -hmm. and the fact that he wasn't scared to talk about it. Like, he wasn't like... He literally spoke about it on multiple platforms. We weren't the only ones that he spoke to about this shit. Right. My man was on the news about this shit. Yo. You know what I mean? And he's not scared to, like, do that preachy shit because he understands that somebody needs to hear it. You know, sometimes we don't want to hear that shit. I know I don't. <laughs> a lot of the times, you know what I mean? Like, there was some. I even called him out on the record on, 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 on his album at the time, uh, May God Be With You Part 2. I was like, that, 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 that one song that you did, I hated it. But when he broke down, like, why he did the record and how he did the record and how it came to be, you got to respect it. Yeah. You know, you got to respect the man who's who's willing to stand on his shit. For sure. You know what I mean? And And he keeps evolving. He keeps evolving as an artist. Um, I, I'm never going to like stop throwing it up for Exit Fame because he's literally one of the hardest working guys out here. Hell uh, yeah. Harder, hard, harder working than you. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'll give him that. And you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're consistent you. and you're hard you working, enough, but he's hard working. <laughs> we need to drop three episodes a week now because yeah. the dude crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta chill, buddy. <laughs> Why the fuck would you say some yeah, shit right. like that? Nah, yeah, right. You're right. <laughs> I hate this thing so much. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, Exit Fame's gonna laugh when he yeah, sees fact. this. Fact. And then he's gonna say a prayer for your dumb ass, nigga. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? 
You know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> Anything else y'all want to say about the exit <laughs> fame, Joe? I got man. a problem, nah. Man, right? Yeah. Nah, I fucking love it. Exit fame, like he's he's definitely one of them. Yeah, he's he yeah. He's, he's one of them ones, yeah. man. He, he's one of the ones in this industry. Absolutely, man. I can't wait to see what happens with exit fame, man. We rooting for you, my nigga. When you're caught all the time, you know that, that my nigga. Sound soothing. That rain um, is beautiful. I'm sorry, <laughs> can't ignore it. Uh, that shit is beautiful. That I wish rain, I was home in my. I know bed. y'all can hear this shit. I can hear it on my headphones. So yeah, that I know rain is crazy. It's just coming in on the mics, nigga. Um, but the next joint that we want to talk about this, I think this is the second to last one, right? Um, yeah, second to last <clears throat> episode one sixteen with my man Sididi Dev. Woo! I, I loved it because not too many niggas can have a homecoming like that. Nah. <laughs> the you know, energy in that building oh my God. was one of a kind. Infectious. We had 16 hood stars Infectious. in one building <laughs> at one time. That was like four <laughs> felonies, nigga. Easily, Yo, bro. In one building. Easily, bro. We had three strikes. But I won't say who. Visit. Yeah. Oh, no. We can't say who. <laughs> no, we we'll can't. never say who. Nah. Right? <laughs> um... So Diddy Dev is one of those stories. I think his story is bigger than his his, his career. Like yeah. As far as his music goes, right? I don't even think he wants to rap. I don't. I don't think he cares about rap. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I just think his story was fire, and he's just an ill character. Like he's he's just an ill person. Where you want to have a conversation with a Sid Diddy Dev? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he's just an ill nigga, bro. Like niggas like him, bro. We we know niggas like yep, him, bro. Like bro, it, bro. it's it's. This, every hood has a nigga like Sididi Dev, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the boisterous, you know, you know, charismatic. You know what I mean? He's outside with it. He's you go and look at him, whether or not you want to look at him or not. Cause he gonna make sure he's standing in front of you. Because to his, look at him. Right. Because <laughs> his energy just like that. And the boy could really rap. Yeah. His freestyle was dope. The boy could really rap. And not only that, that was one of like my most favorite storytelling episodes. Yeah, that nigga could tell a story. That yeah. story where he got locked up, like where who it landed him to where he went. I said, like, get was your fucking crazy. hands off me. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad I wasn't there. I really wanted to be a part of that interview. You got all this all this shit on your fucking record. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dev, man, like. I've known about the Diddy Dev as an artist for years. Um, we got a lot of mutuals. The way that this conversation happened was so fucking crazy. Because I had no idea he was going to pull up like that. Yeah, nah, I mean, I knew he had support. But I didn't know what the support was like mm-hmm. until niggas showed up. And, like, that that right there gave me all the telling I needed. Like, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. like. The niggas who who love you or who want to see you win, yeah, that that shows who you are right there, bro. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, so that shit was beautiful, and I'm happy he's home, gets to see his baby, his kid. You know what I mean? That shit's beautiful, man. On dogs, it is. I'm happy for Dev. That interview was mad. Shout out to my man Dev, man. So Diddy Dev. Yeah, mad for Dev. What what was his name before Diddy Dev? Oh (laughs) shit. (laughs) What you saying it was? Fucking the dinosaur. Some yeah. the, Dev dinosaur. Dev the dinosaur. Dev the dinosaur. <laughs> Jesus. That nigga had no idea. Oh, star? Some shit like some that? Some shit. I forgot what he, he said. said. He said, nigga, <laughs> ain't nobody ever say that shit. No. He said, did he die? That shit oh, stuck, man. man. Freestyle was hard, too, man. No bullshit, man. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the last one, man. The last joint that we want to talk about <laughs> and this was episode 114 rose gold dawn oh, oh man, man. always last but never last you understand what i'm yeah, saying right. big that. bag big bag last my nigga last days man um i want y- y'all go first man what y- what y- i'm coming up with a whole segment 
like inspired by last days. <laughs> Come in the new year, it's gonna be uh, tell them why you mad, bro. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell niggas why I'm mad. Okay. I'm gonna channel in my inner last days, nigga. Pussy! Pussy ass! Because there's nobody that I jump choose Instagram story faster yeah. than last day. Every time he goes live, I try to get on it. As soon as yeah. that nigga's in a hotel room and he is laying in bed making a video, <laughs> yeah. he is about to spew out oh, yeah. the most beautiful combination yeah. of ebonics that you <laughs> ever heard nigga the most beautiful ignorance like it's it's, it's just bliss it's just pure it ignorant is. bliss it my is. Nigga. i love dave if, if niggadom was a person oh man it would be last it would days. definitely yeah. be days yeah, yeah. it would he yeah, reads I, people for filth yeah. oh my god it's filthy oh my god he doesn't film. even care. Premium no. film. He gives zero no. fuck. Why the fuck would he? Like when we were celebrating my newborn baby, oh, like well, yeah. my, my pregnant <laughs> wife, he was like, oh, wow, yeah, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, that day, he was like, oh, no, he was like yeah, I'm done with fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, though. He couldn't hold back. Yeah. It's yeah. like, that's some shit you can't, like, yeah. you, you can't, can't even be you mad can't, at Yeah, it. you can't be mad I at remember that. this nigga was mad at my nail color. He's like, I don't like gray. Oh, <laughs> I was like, like, okay. what, like the nigga gives you his truest yeah. reaction yeah. Yeah. to everything. Yeah. I, I, I'll never forget that day. <laughs> the first time, well, not the first time, the second time we interviewed Days, this was at Details. Um, and he was like saying at the end of the episode, yo, I'm really in these streets. Unlike a lot of niggas, man, I really be outside. You could catch me any given day, any type of day, nigga, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, literally a couple of days after that, nigga, I'm driving on Bowden. Nigga, I'm get, I get caught snoozing. I look over. This nigga rolled out his window like pussy. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, this nigga really be outside. Really? Like, yeah. I literally can catch this nigga days at any time. I've been day. at a few events Yo. and seen days this summer. Yeah. 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 R and B. Yeah. Hip hop. Yeah. Days don't karaoke. Like, yeah. Days don't like <laughs> days don't like when they check his dress code. Nah. And he still get in. Yeah. But when he get in, he tell you, you see this bullshit? <laughs> you see this bullshit at the door? Talking about checking my dress code. This is why you gotta niggas check don't want to come here. You got to check. Right, right, right. You know right, what I right. mean? He's always talking about why niggas don't want to come. Here. And he always repping Boston. <laughs> First thing to run to the streets for Boston. But if you a Boston nigga talking to him, he going to tell you Boston's fucked up. Boston and boy. let me tell you a hundred reasons why. Boston boy. I Boston boy days. too coming soon. Yeah, me too. And you know what? He also represents being solid. Yeah. yeah. I feel like underneath all of that rose gold and all the yeah. filth that he talks and and the this and the that, like he would have been the same. He's nigga. really such a solid person. Yeah. And he he really he he gives you a lot of gems. Yeah. You know, yeah. like even meeting him, and maybe if if there's a conversation on social media or whatever he's reminding me of like who i am naturally at my core like he's right. really just such a solid person right. and like his energy is needed what his you see is, is what you needed. get with days man yeah. absolutely he don't, he don't fuck around and, and he yeah, takes care of the people that he, he cares for mm -hmm. you know what i mean like he, he if he fuck with you you know that mm -hmm. and if you if he don't fuck with you you definitely you'll know, know that, that as too well. you'll know that too <laughs> absolutely I, I liked how forthcoming he was on this episode too um he spoke about a lot of things that we didn't expect him to talk about and divulge on. But that's last days, my nigga. You never know what you're going to get. However he's feeling, that's what's going to come out. Yeah. And you know what's ill about that? He was one of the only niggas that probably said a little bit more than what he wanted to say, mm -hmm. but never said, yo, Charlie, cut this part out. Cut mm -hmm. that part out. Never. He was he like, nah, nigga, it. That, that, it is what it is. It I came out the it. way it came out. Nigga, I said that. I'm going to stand on that. And that's real nigga shit. But there was some stuff that he didn't want to talk about. And I remember kind of poking at it. And he's like, didn't I tell you? You know how your mom like whoop your ass and it's like every every swing with that belt? Well, didn't I? Well, well, that, that was, was the days. disclaimer we like, asked him at the I beginning. Like, yo. I know. And then you still poke the big. I know. That's what you do. That's what you do. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that was, that was, that was, that was that. But all in all, man, I feel like those 10 conversations 
Now, those are a lot of dope conversations. We had 51 episodes this year, including this one. Ooh. So that means 50 other episodes. That's crazy. Other than this one. Um, there was a lot of ill fucking conversations, a lot of dope um, you know, guests that we had. But these are the ones that st- stuck out to us the yeah. most, right? Yeah. And, you know, I-, I can't wait to see what kind of conversations we have because I definitely want to diversify next year. You know what I mean? A little bit more, right? We know Chanel loves the R&B. I really do. You know what I mean? And I want to touch more on the R&B too because R&B is kind of unspoken. Um, but I also want to get more into the rap. Like, yeah. like, I felt like, you know what I mean, my man B, you know, Brian, Angel, he said it earlier. A lot of niggas ain't come as hard as they did in 2021 mm-hmm. with the freestyles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Yeah, yeah facts. Now, there were yeah, a lot of fire freestyles this year. Don't get me wrong. But I felt like the amount of fire freestyles we had last year in comparison <laughs> to this year. You know what I mean? It was trumping what was going on here. And I want niggas to come with it, bro. I want niggas to come with it unapologetically. When you come up here, bring bring your best. Yeah. Because if we're going to represent this New England, this Boston, this mass shit, we're going to do it the best here at CWTFB Radio, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? But with that being said, um, Y'all want to get into these top five Red Cups oh, and Rats? Oh, hey, here yeah, we go. Let's do it. Are we going to pick a winner or are we just going to say our top five? Let's just say our top five. Every, I, I every, just want to say my top five. Yeah. Right, Chanel, go you first. Your, Chanel, go first. All my top five? Chanel, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it in a particular order for you? Not really. Okay. My top five term. Okay. Of course. Of course. Of course. I got my first name drop, so. Okay. Term, I love you. I love you for that. I got my flowers. Who else? Iman Le Ali. Okay. I think Iman Le Ali killed that, that. that with the dual freestyles. That was hard. Exit Fame. That was mm. hard. That was hard. Exit Fame brought the energy. Yeah. Kato. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Kato. Yeah. Hunting round Kato. He said, I'm outside. Big Glock. You outbox, inbox, laptop. I don't press in when I send shots. Never forget. Come fucking on. hard bar. On, fucking son. hard bar. Come on, son. Big energy. He sent niggas on their way with that bar. Um, and Cake Swag. No, cake uh, Swag. Like uh, put it body. That's one of mine. That's one of mine. That's one of mine. I love her. Okay. Energy. That's, that's a good mine. List. That's, that's a good list. That's, that's a good list. That's a solid list. All right. So that's I already dope. told you. So Cake Swag is one of them. Uh huh. Uh, motherfucking Mikey Milano. Okay. Mikey Milano. Mikey Milano, Mikey Milano shit Milano. was a whole song. Yeah, it was. That's I a like whole this. song. Like, that like shit this. is hard. Chilla Jones. Yep. Because don't it. you ever disrespect Chilla Jones anytime he rap. Nah. Anytime Chilla, Chilla did Jones that. rap on Chilla anything that, that we do, he falls in the top three. And he's, yeah, I'm not talking about three or two. Right. And um, Not two. Motherfucking Hunter Round Cotto. You got that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Hunter of course, Round of course. How many I got? <laughs> you got that was what four? Four? I think that was four. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I got six then. Six. Come on, son. Yeah, Dunny and Buddy Rock. <laughs> yeah, the both right. of them. Gotta because because I mean because like Dunny shit. Dun, you gotta understand, Dunny makes freestyles for the moment. Yeah. Dunny don't make shit like he don't take shit like yeah you know I mean like something new like Dunny writes shit. For the moment, there's no nigga I feel like that prepares more for C Dub freestyle than Dun Dilly, bro. Mm. So for that, I always got to give it for Dunny. Mm. And then Body Rock, I'm surprised by his preparation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, so this like, time around? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, because you know he he's done other things in the past <laughs> where he lacked preparation, but, but he knows that. But, but Body in like full fledged artist mode now. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying like even when Dunny's Probably not. Right, right, He's right. Still right, right. sharp. Right. You know what I mean? That's what he do. Yeah, so five okay. and six. Okay. I like that. You got the honorable mention. You know Thank what I mean? You. Shit top um, five. My top five. Um, definitely no particular order, man. 
But we definitely got to talk about my man Chilla Jones, man, the King Pen. Um, and this is a common denominator here, hunting around Cotto. Voodoo Baby, the Godfather. Um, this is one that y'all didn't mention, man. I gotta give it up to my man C's, man, out of Brockton, man. Ooh, that's a good one. C's did that's that. A good one. That's a good C's, one. C's gave us a really hard freestyle, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. Crazy. Yeah. Um, the sure. voice is fucking. Ooh. Yeah, he has a great rap voice. Yeah. Cadence. Nah, C's. C's was ready to tear our shit down. Yeah. You know what I mean? C's was ready, like... C's, C's, C's came in pouring gasoline on the building. Yeah. Right. Like, C's yeah. was like, hey, yo, what's up? Right. Don't make me like this bitch up. Got a match. <laughs> I know one of you niggas got yeah, a match, yeah, right? Dog. Um, King Bricks. Uh, I mean, King Bricks, not only because of how he did this shit with the whole ABC. Yeah, he went crazy. Um, and he rapped on his own beat. And just because of the fact that he literally came up just to rap. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Before the interview oh, and yeah, things of yeah, that nature. Yeah, sure. Um, I love that. That, you know, shout out to King Bricks, my nigga. That's my nigga. Um, and I'm gonna have to give the fifth spot to my man Dun Dilly, man. Uh -huh. Damn right. Dun Dilly, man. I mean, like, there, there was a lot of, of freestyles to choose from. This year, but like when, when we gotta talk top five, it's it's hard, yeah, it's hard to condense it all into five. But like, mm -hmm. and for you niggas looking for one, we'll never pick one, man. But I mean, if we if the thing that we all had in common was what Cotto? running around Cotto, man, you know what That's I mean? True. That was so. If we pick one, that would be it. <laughs> Cotto, yeah. I mean, the, the nigga kept rapping you. like for like. A whole minute. We after can the never beat stop, stop him, bro. We can Nobody can stop Cotto, my nigga. Like the nigga don't never stop rapping. Yeah. And not only does he not stop rapping, the shit be on time and it be fire every single time, my nigga. Um, the, the man speaks from the soul. I mean, and um, I, I thought this was an excellent year. Um, it was a hard year for me too. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, twenty twenty two was a very trying year. It was a, a year that showed us, you know, what we can be and what we need to block out at the same time. Mm. Right? Um, Say that. What, what do y'all feel like y'all biggest takeaways is, is from this year? You go first, okay? uh, yeah, you go first. Part or personal, or both? Or both. However, you, whatever's on your heart. For the pod, I would say um, my biggest takeaway for whoever you know was paying attention to me in 2021. I think this year it has really showed. You know, I was able to to host three or four events i was on two panels mm. you know like i was well received this year because i feel because of the part because i'm here mm. with you guys and i'm growing and i'm forming beautiful relationships and that 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 was my biggest takeaway because i feel like coming into this it was it was a little bit of a struggle for me you know what i'm saying having one woman and then transition into another and not knowing like what's going on and just having to be accepted i think this year it really shows that you know i'm here and i'm here to stay absolutely um you want to go pod yeah i was personal, gonna go i was gonna both? go i was gonna go pod and, and then, personal okay so go ahead it's, it's, it's a two and one i got nah do pod and then pod and then we'll go personal go ahead all right so it's it's the uh conversation we had with them boys um responsibility with our voice Mm. And who we influence, right? Good boys. Ooh. Huh? Well, bad uh, for the community. Uh, bad for the community. My bad. Shout, bad. Shout out to Bad for the community. community. We had a conversation with them on fire. Everything that we expected it to be fire. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, like, I took from that conversation, like, damn. Fuck. There's young niggas who are listening to me mm. yeah. for, like, you know, like, not maybe not guidance or whatever, but. There's something they're going to take from some shit that I said yeah. and move forward with. Mm -hmm. And I don't need that. Mm 
<laughs> you know what I mean? You don't need that response. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. And I didn't know I had that responsibility. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know that. So therefore, like I want to take like I want to take more like um not accountability because it's bigger than accountability. More, but more conscious mm. and like. That's good. My, my, my. The shit that I say and the things That's that good. I do on Just the podcast. Just being pod, more like, aware. I know that I'm funny and y'all niggas love it and all, but I'm not trying to steer these kids in no bad direction. Yeah. Everything is for the love of these children. I am not the Weinsteins or the Epsteins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know what I mean, protect what we have as a culture. Word. Because, like, what we, what we have as a culture, they're trying to diminish. And that's another thing that I'm trying to protect is our culture. Like, and niggas say you can't protect it. I think that's bullshit. I think you, in fact, can protect it. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think we doing that. Every week, I feel like we do that. Yeah. So, like, I just feel like we should just keep doing that shit. Okay. Yeah. Pod-wise. Um, I mean, pod-wise. Your biggest um, takeaway. My biggest takeaway is just learning from mistakes, man. Um, You know, Get that hard drive cord fit. <laughs> you know, not not only not only the technicals, not only the technicalities, um, but you know the missteps. You know, like there was some conversations that could have went a better route. Um, there was some execution that we could have done on our on our end um, that we didn't do. For whatever reason, I don't know what the reasons are yet, but we're, we're figuring out as we go. Um, and you know, I think that's the whole part of, of creating something, right? Like it, it, it's you never know what the direction is gonna, where the direction is gonna lead you. Yeah, you know I mean, because this is like literally something that we've never done before, right? You know, what I mean, we're all literally learning from each other. Um, <laughs> And that's why I love that we're able to do this week over week because we literally get better as we do it. Yeah. Right. You know, I, 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 I watch a lot of film. Like I'm the guy that I watch a lot of podcasts. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I treat the Joe Budden podcast as the Holy grail, you know, a million dollars worth of game, um, you know, drink champs. The ill thing about us is I feel like we're all three of those put together mm-hmm. with the familiarity of, you know, Gilly and his cousin Wallow, you know, Joe Budden and his boys, but also drink champs where we literally get niggas drunk. And instead of making them just keep talking, we make them rap. Right. <laughs> you know, like that that's hip hop Olympics, hip hop Olympics. My nigga. Like, <laughs> um, I think the evolution of where we are right now. Is a true testimony of learning from mistakes. Uh, you know, I never want to make the same mistake twice. Mm. You know, and 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 that and that's where I'm at with it. That's beautiful. That kind of correlates with with my personal my personal takeaway. I feel like um, this has been a year full of growth for me. Mm. Like this has been a project me year, um, and. In some kind of way, like, I feel like I lost myself a little bit, but I got it back. I got it back, and I think that I came... I just feel like you lost yourself. That all on that. Ooh. Just, like, my morals, my standards, you know, who I surround myself with. Um, things I really, I, I usually wouldn't go for, just being a little more lenient about things. And then ultimately having to learn some really big, hard lessons from not staying true to myself Mm. and, you know, absorbing certain energies and certain things around me. That's just really that were ultimately not for me. Mm. Right. So I had to remove a lot of unnecessary people, unnecessary things that were. Yeah, that were holding me back. So and it's it's not a bad thing. That's life. Like I'm learning that you you don't have to hold a grudge about things that didn't go your way in life you know what i'm saying like you can move forward with with true grace like grace over grudges for me and i think that's that's a heavy lesson that i that i learned this year and i just started to focus on things that felt great 
And mm. I felt great surrounding right. myself with people that really accept and love me and sharing myself wisely. Like that mm. is my biggest personal takeaway this year. And it, and it shows and it shows you guys know that you guys know my personal story. So I just really appreciate you guys being um, two of the most important people in my life that really support and respect me. No doubt. Absolutely. Like, I you, my honestly, wholeheartedly, like anytime I felt low or felt like I was stuck in that space of feeling lost cash we we joke we talk a lot of shit yeah, but cash you. will send me a voice note like giving me my flowers like yeah. yo we need you i love you like you, you know missed that. the part we need your energy charlie you know you're always like you're one of my biggest cheerleaders like Absolutely. i can you guys remind me of who i am how beautiful i am i Absolutely. need that i love that and i love me nigga Mar. i like that Mar. and i love y'all <laughs> I love you too, Nelly. I love y'all. Wow, that was great. Yeah. Cash, you want to go? Yeah, personal, personal thing. It's the same shit. Accountability, bro, for my shit that I say. Like, I honestly, man, like, I know, like, I know y'all think it's funny all the time, but it there's is. times where people ain't laughing. There's certain people who I love genuinely who, like, watch sometimes. They, be, they not laughing all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there's moments like that. I'm like, damn, I didn't know I'm affecting these many niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So, like, that accountability is what I... That's it. It's like just playing into how many people am I really touching. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I didn't know how many people was a fan of my shit. A right. lot. You know what I mean? A yeah, lot. Yeah, exactly. So, for that, for that matter, like, I got I to gotta just play more into what I'm saying. And I mean everything that I say. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just Let like him make y'all, that y'all, shit y'all, just clear. Gotta, y'all just don't gotta hear it all the time. <laughs> you know I mean? uh, straight up. Timing and placement. Str- timing yeah. and place. That's it. That's the shit. Timing yeah. and placement. Yeah. That's what I'm all right. So for me personally, 2022 was a huge year of um loss, man. Damn, Chiz. Loss. In pain. Um, Great. You know what I mean? I um and just learning how to work through the pain. I think working through the pain is like the biggest thing, man. I mean, I lost my step pops earlier this year. Um, didn't even get to say goodbye to him because contingencies and, and, and things of that nature. Um, I didn't even learn he was sick until literally days before he passed um you know i I, i've never spoke about this on the pod before but my son was diagnosed with autism this year um you know that's that's really tough as a parent um that's, that's really tough as a man expecting certain things from his only son um and trajectory of his life and 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 what you think it's going to look like and what it can be like. And, you know, that and then, you know, a huge blow. The biggest blow was the loss of my father. You know what I mean? Um, you know, my pops was, you know what I mean? He, he was he was he was the patriarch, man. He was the guy. You know, what I mean, anybody who knew my pops, you know, what I mean, knew he, you know, what I mean, he, he really cared for his family. Everything he did was for his grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, sometimes you got to stop and and just and just feel. You just got to stop and just feel what the fuck you're going through. Um, Working through the pain doesn't mean not not acknowledging the pain. Understand that it's there understand that it will happen understand that it's a part of being human but also understand that life goes on the best part about life is that it goes on and it only goes on as far as you're willing to take it um and 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 that's why i love that we all choose what the future brings you know what i mean like i i i, I can't thank everybody enough for for being here in our corner i can't thank y'all enough 
for doing this with me. I can't thank, you know, our team enough for being here week in and week out. And we have such an ill tandem when one person can't be here. Somebody else is here to to pick up the slack. Like it, it's I think it's really a special thing that we got going on here, man. Like, you know, um, I'm, I'm getting emotional and shit. Mm. Um, yeah, you started this shit, man. but like, you, you know what I mean. Get emotional, so here we are, nigga. Emotional as fuck. <laughs> you, know you know what I mean. Fuck, we all crying. I just, I, I, I love y'all, man. And I love like, you I, too, nigga. I love you, know you too. And, and, fuck you want me to say, man? man. And, and, That's it. And, man. and we love y'all, man. Like for right. real. Like I say that shit every freestyle. We love y'all till next time. But like, that's really what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We ain't perfect. We human just like anybody else. I ain't always right. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. I ain't always right. (laughs) But I always stand on my shit. And when I'm wrong, I'm okay to say that I was wrong. So call me out. Hold us accountable. Make us responsible. But at the end of the day, man... (laughs) Continue to choose what the future brings, man. Cash is not your role model. You know, <laughs> I, I I waited for this moment to tell you guys. Let me just, I'm sorry. <laughs> no more, please. Can we just let me say get some it out? Funny shit. I just got diagnosed. With that bitch syndrome. <laughs> and I have a lifetime to live. I got a lifetime to live. <laughs> and my heart, my heart. You guys don't understand when I found out this news. I said, what? <laughs> what? I love this. And I'm so much of that bitch. I got to lighten this mood up. Oh, my God. I mean, there's no we better dropping way. dropping this shit on fucking Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. We got Jesus gifts. Christ's so I had birthday and shit. Santa Claus. How old is Jesus Christ these Come days? Come on now. Merry Christmas to you, nigga. nigga. Oh, shit, girl. I didn't get you nothing, girl. And Merry <laughs> Christmas to you. It's okay. Merry Christmas, blood. Thank you, blood. I want y'all to open those. Oh, shit, niggas. Okay. Because y'all officially oh, have okay. the C-dubs TFB starter pack. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. wow. Got y'all Chanel. a few little bit of icy. Chanel. Chanel, come on, What girl. the fuck? Chanel. What? Y'all deserve it. Wow. Come on. Y'all ain't even oh, see the rest. Wow. I hope it fits. And if not, I got insurance. Y'all can, you know, Chanel. exchange it. Yo, what's up? I'm wow. All out. I'm all out. Come the on, open the rest. Crazy. Open the rest. Hold on, hold on. I'm excited. I, I love giving gifts. I put hold this up. shit on. <laughs> hold up. Click me up. Click me up. up. Click me up. Mm. Yeah, man. It's cool. Let me see. Let me help you out here. Thank you. Thank you. If it's too big, make sure you let me know so I can um, send it back in. Yeah, I hope y'all yeah, niggas is yeah, getting this shit. This is crazy. Oh, you like it loose like that? Yeah, I like it loose okay. like that. Okay, like it loose like that? Not like that, though. I don't like it loose like that. Like that. Like like you that. so fucking silly. <laughs> I know I it ain't break loose, this. though. Let I ain't see. tripping. <laughs> Stupid as hell. Yeah, you must feel pretty good. That's good. That's good. Oh, thank you, Chanel. Wow. 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 That's it too now. That's the one. You know what else? And I got the whole team no, sweatshirts. You know, no, you know what I want to do. I got the, the whole no, team. What? Right. Choose the I love that. I love Can that. You the fuck I love that. Who, who'd you, who'd you, we got our who'd own you sweatshirts now. Everybody else, my brother-in-law, Chanel. a visionary, Chanel. a visionary. Chanel. Everybody else, come up here with their merch. Give me a girl. All their Chanel. sweatshirts. Oh, give me some. I love you too. Turn the camera. On. <laughs> I love you too. And we finally have our own. We get to show up and we get to drop it in the chat and say, yo, everybody wear your sweatshirt. We're going to represent. Like Y'all got that. some shades. Got you some Ray Bans in there. Ray Bans in there too? Absolutely. You see fuck? his glasses? Come on now. Oh, shit. Nigga looking at the brand. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get you the Ray Bans, but you got. You got some kind of glasses. Wow, you got the, you got the fucking. Come on, the club master. We're really spending money on each other. Oh man, 
You know what I mean? I spend money on all my friends. I love no, all my you, friends. Baby. Thank you for real. I love you guys. I love you, you guys. Girl. I want you guys to know that, hmm. you know, going forward, since we got the takeaways, we are going into a new year. And for 23, I want to be more of a gift. I want to shed more of my 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 gift, my presence. I want to be here more, it's be needed. more consistent. And I know it's needed. I know it's needed. Like I said, I was going through some personal things this past year, but next year, one of my resolutions for this pod is to definitely be more present and i will Damn, no. i will i will wow this is fire now yeah i don't even know what else is this feels thing, good too. what's your resolution um, we said it, um we, no we said i'll take it what's your resolution no you have to have a resolution uh, for you i want to like i think you should do a spelling bee right oh shit i really <laughs> see a spelling that. bee in your future <laughs> like i really want to like I I fight her? i'm thinking of like a spelling bee her? marathon <laughs> Like I, I could see her, you with, How do I not you know her? what I'm saying? Like, like the whole I'm right. Detox. I'm doing a detox. I like that. I'm doing a detox. A detox. No bud. No bud. No L. I'm gonna do it for 90 days. Yeah. I'm gonna do it for Congratulations. Yeah. I need it. It'll need, clear I your need, mind. I, I love that. To like I hate feeling like a fiend. I've been feeling like a fiend for like the past six months, where I feel like I can't do without L. And bud, and I hate that vibe at times, bro. It's mornings I wake up mad at my kids who do nothing wrong. <laughs> they ain't did shit wrong. That's wild. And then I, you know I mean, I have my blunt. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> oh, I'm done. I don't think I'm there yet. I know yeah. people like that. Uh, yeah. No, but it's that's, real. That's it's real, real that you're yeah, forthcoming yeah, enough to yeah, say it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's the accountability. Uh, yeah, yeah, you already got a head start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? It's a fendi. Um, What's your resolution? My resolution for 2023. Oh, she got me right. Um, it's to just Tasty. honestly, mm-hmm. man, just get more on the business side of this podcast shit, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I want to make this shit a household name. Right. Like, I, you know, the, the, one of the biggest reasons why I never chose a Boston based name was because I never wanted to be anchored to Boston. We're from Boston. We love Boston. This is where it started, but this is not where it's going to end. At and all. We're, we're going to do amazing things in 2023. Yes. I'm ready for whatever God has in store for me. On oh, dogs. We taking it there. I Jesus love you guys. Jesus Christ and all that. Love you too. Love you too, girl. I you had you. me scared for a minute with the whole <laughs> diagnosis. Yeah, diagnosis. <laughs> like, I ain't going front. I'm like, yes, God man. damn. Like, yeah, like, yo, bro, I, I am healthy. Lay it on us, my nigga. I'm wow. healthy. I thought it was level five. I'm healthy. I'm nigga. happy. That's I'm a- healthy. <laughs> I'm honorable. I'm here. Come on. That's a fucked up way to drop a but, message, by the way. That but shit was dope. Nah, way. that was great. That was great. <laughs> but thank y'all. <laughs> you always give me good bracelets. Yo. This fucking episode do. was fire. <laughs> I love you too. I love y'all, man. Oh, I love you guys. For real, for real, for real. You know what I mean? My nigga. You know what I mean? You know that. CWTFB Radio, episode 154, man. This is the 2022 recap. I am Charlie Machine. Hold up. She is Chanel Shante, the Empress. We gotta end this with a shot. Come on, you guys. We gonna end this shit off. Cash done drank my shit already. Wow. How did your shot end up missing? I poured it. <laughs> yo, thank you yo this is to y'all man this is to y'all this is to everybody to us, to us. Like choose what the saying. future brings man it's us always mm. just like that <laughs> he dropped his mic and we out <laughs>